Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone and in this series we are exploring an AI powered testing tool called Testim. Testim provides two ways to create test, codeless and coded. In this video we'll see what setup which is next to nothing is needed to work with the codeless way and we'll also explore the testing interface. Before we start, I would like to inform that throughout this series, there will be relevant content available in the description box below. So it's a good idea to check the description box. Okay, so let's begin. So to access testim, go to app.testim.io and we'll be using Chrome browser because testim's community edition, which we will be working with, only supports Chrome browser. So here you need to sign up using a business email. I already have an account, so I'll just sign in. Now here we are. This is testing. You might be getting number of trial days left here at the top. I contacted Testim to convert my account to free version, which they promptly did. Now, to record a test using Testim, we need to install a Chrome extension. Let's quickly install it. This is the extension that you need to install. The extension has been added to Chrome. And with that, we are done with the setup. Now let's walk around and get ourselves familiarized with the options available to us here. Let's start with company data screen. Click on the button here. This is company view. The first tab projects would list all the projects that you are a member of. Clicking on a project would open up that project. Let's go back. The second project that I have here, testing usage examples. This is a sample project with example test to help you get started. This is a read only project. The next tab is Team. This lists all the company users. You can add or remove users from here. The users you invite would get access to projects you select. Plans tab would show your current subscription plan along with general usage. Grids tab would show the available grids. A test grid is basically a cloud-based service that stands up multiple resources to allow for test parallelization. It can include different browser types and resolutions. There are three different types of grids that you can integrate with Testim. Testim grid, that's the one that we have here. It's a private grid. Local grids, if you have a Selenium grid, Testim can integrate with it. And Testim can also integrate with third-party grids like Source Labs and Browser Stack. Reports Reports tab is where you can view all your test run reports. We currently have none. And the last one, SSO, it says we need to upgrade our account to use this. It is available in the enterprise package and so we won't be discussing it. Okay, so now let's select a project. So here the first menu item is editor. Editor is where you record 
edit and run your test while you are authoring it. It shows you the default configurations, the browser, operating system and the screen resolution. It shows a step here. This step is to launch an application. It has also got a URL here. This is the URL I used in the script that I had created under this project. This is our project name. And so for this project, when I start to create another script, this step is made available by default. Now the next tab is Automate. This tab helps to create and manage test, test suites, test plans, labels and shared steps. So this is one test that I have created. You can bundle up tests into a test suite. So all the tests belonging to a certain module or a certain functionality could be bundled together into a test suite. Plans tab is used to set what test you would like to run, set up and tear down test and what configuration you would like to run the test with. Labels. You can add labels to your test. Labels could be like uh, regression or sanity. And so you can run test easily when you need to do regression or sanity test. And these are just examples, of course. You can add any label that, you, that makes sense to your application. Shared steps. Shared steps are a group of steps clubbed together. They can be used in multiple tests. You can think of them like functions. Then we have got capture. You can capture bugs and publish in your issue tracker using testim extension that we just installed. This is super handy. Run stamp. This lets you schedule and run test. You can set the configurations like operating system, browser, screen resolution, step timeouts and such. And then you can access reports from here as well. And finally, you can view the test run results. Settings. This lets you tweak the project settings like project name, base URL and look the base URL for the project is set here and that's how it gets picked up as the first step for every test you create under this project. Then you can also set the grid you would like to run the test on. Then we have various bug tracker options and then you could integrate with GitHub, TestRail, Apply Tools is for the paid version, so you'll have to upgrade your account in order to integrate with Apply Tools. You could turn off or on the weekly email reports. Email services is also paid. And the last tab, Users. It lists the project teammates. You can add or remove people from the project. So basically, TestTeam has a super friendly interface. It is simple but powerful. And now that you are comfortable with the interface, in the next video, we will record our first test through TestTeam. See you there.